green flag. Union Max is the pole sitter for the DuPont 400. Green flag in the air. Kavner gets a much better start than the 92 does. And we are underway for 160 laps around Indianapolis. Our second longest race of the season. The Max retakes the lead coming off turn number one. Like a block transfers to second. And it's a long endurance race from here. Max rockets out to the lead with Block following just behind. And what should hopefully be an exciting race here in Indianapolis. Hmm. Let's head to complete the first lap here. And Max will lead it. Just one lap at 160. Here's our points. There's Sean Gallagher working his way towards the front. He started in the mid pack and he's fighting for the uh, uh, further along positions right now. And he has to reel in Noah Hart, who is second in the points. Gallagher's got a big, big gap in the points right now. And the last thing that uh, Gallagher wants to do is give it up. Dylan Young and Cole Daly battling one on one here. Daniel Day, several others. But, uh, I mean, you still got a long way to go. This race is a big points race. The winner of this race gets 50 points, so it's pretty big. It'll be what drivers need to get back into the title hunt with so few races to go. Getting this win is very, very necessary if you're in the top 20 in points, for sure. That's your top 20 right there. Jake Baskinger is in the top 20. That's a miracle, but uh, as we look along, Richard Johnson currently in 17th, as you can see here. Richard Johnson, one of the one-off drivers in number 20. Could actually be a big favorite to win this race because, uh, well, Richard Johnson's one of the best Arkansas drivers. He's won the most Sony Cup races, he's won Elite Series races, and he's won DuPont Cup Series races. Noah Hart leads with Dylan Young right behind. Hart knows that this win would catapult him back into the title. Especially with the gap he has behind on Galligan right now. This win, he's really looking for it. Another driver who could really use this as well, it would be Eric Byrne, who currently sits 15th in the points. If he could get this win, it'll be a huge, huge boost for him in the title. It would give him another chance. But uh, Sanford, Dylan Young, they could also use this. Dylan Young, ooh, little contact there. Contact Dylan Young. Oh, they almost wrecked it right there. Dylan Young third in the points. If he could get this, it'll help him in the title as well. So he knows he has to run down Noah Hart. He said during interviews this week that the main goal is to run down Noah Hart. They said they don't care about Sean Gallagher and they just want to get Hart. And, uh, yep. Race has been somewhat clean for the first few laps. Sean Gallagher in the 44 continuing to move forward every lap. Zach Rogers in the 55 who has won the last two races looking for a third straight win which would be quite historical for him. And uh, Zach Rogers in the 55 and uh, it's been a good second half of the season for them. They currently sit, let's see here, they currently sit 10th in the points. So they are trying to get into the championship. Last thing they, last thing they can want is a bad finish here, which would probably knock them out. But uh, Galligan fighting with Cody Lamas as they continue to move further and up. And uh, yeah, the race been clean so far. Dylan Young and Noah Hart have been dominating so far. Young trying to get Noah Hart right now. <laughs> he wasn't kidding, and he said this week he was going to try and run him down. Well, here's the back of the pack. Sean Perkins is in the last. Fitzwater, his sister didn't make the race, not even close, but uh, Ben Guy, Dishwasher, they raced their way in. Okay, Williams raced his way in. Yeah. Here's last season's Indianapolis winner, John Skavnick, in the 19. He won this race in a green white checker finish against Noah Hart, and uh, it was a great um, finish as well. And uh, Skavnick, trying to get a great finish here today at Indianapolis and uh, it's been a bad season for him 
and he's trying to make up for it. He sits 28th in the points as he fights uh, Alex Allen, who won the one-off race. So he's trying to get in. Well, he's trying to get a good finish for himself. Cody Lamas enters this race with a lot of pressure. He during an interview this week, he uh, he said that he's, yeah, he said that unless he gets a good finish in Indianapolis, he thinks his tile hunt so he, he thinks his tile hunt is over. Which isn't that bad of an assumption considering he's 50 points behind. But if Lamas can snatch a a great finish here today, perhaps he could come for the title again. Lamas has been one of the best drivers since the uh, 2D cars were shown off. And uh, won the season six title, season seven, had a good season. And season eight, he won three races, and then the races in a row to be more specific. This season, he's won again. He's won before, I think. So it's been, Lamas' career has been booming ever since season six, so it's been good for him. And he wants to go for the title in that 48 car. James Shelley, uh, he got his, he races, he didn't even have to race his way into this race. His one win, he, well, he currently sits, uh, 30, uh, s something in the points. But, uh, he sits in the third, outside top 30, but he had, he didn't have to go into the one-off because he won a race this season, so. He's currently in 11th. He's trying to run down Nico Hall in the, uh, rookie of the year standings, and Nico Hall currently sits in 20th while Shelley is in 11th. So. So we got quite a ways to go, and with pit stops starting to begin, and with pit stops starting, we'll see how these pit stops will impact this race. Cover drivers stay out. After the pit stops, Noah Hart would be the leader by good margin over Dylan Young. And uh, Hart in the 47, they had a fantastic pit stop, and uh, they currently are dominating this race. Dylan Young in second. Eric Burns sitting in third. Uh, we go through the field. Any surprises? Well, not really, but uh, Richard Johnson's is still up there. Whew. DJ Curtis could use a good finish here. <laughs> DJ Curtis has been on somewhat of a roll lately. He's been uh, on fire the last couple of weeks, and he's been uh, getting top 10 finishes across the board. He's been doing a good job. And that 91 car, they've been rebounding. They sit 24th in the points after starting after being last in the points for the first uh, four race, four or five races of the season. So they have definitely improved as his teammate Jacob Anthony passes by him. Jacob Anthony could also use a good run from this. He sits 25th in the points, and uh, this win could help him out. Vincent Allen, who got the last transfer spot, currently sits in 20th place. As we are a quarter of the way through. Uh, Vincent Allen, the 87, he has not had a good season at all. Although he has somewhat been improving. He had a great showing at um, Homestead where he got involved in a wreck, but he still managed to come back and finish 11th place, which is quite a, a great moment for him. And the earlier season, Team Thunder announced that Vincent Allen would be gone this season, is going to be gone at the end of the season. So Vincent Allen's trying the hardest he can to at least get his team to uh, have a good finish to the season. A driver I was not expecting to really struggle so far in this race has been Trevor Brosis. He started in the back after having a problem in qualifying. He sits 22nd right now, but uh, Trevor Brosis is an IndyCar driver, and uh, well, he's been open wheel driver for the most part. So he's been to this race. He's raced in the Indy 500 a couple of times, been uns unsuccessful, but. Uh, he definitely has more experience than anyone else in this field at this track, and it's surprisingly he's struggling. Zach Rogers also struggling himself. Unfortunate, but uh, just how it is, I guess. Gabe Williams in last. As Eric Byrne goes to second, he's trying to run down Noah Hart, and uh, Hart's got a good advantage going on right now as he's driving the living heck out of his number 15 Mitsubishi, sponsored by Wesco. And uh, a lot of drivers are still in this. As this race has been pretty calm, we have had no caution so far. It's been a clean race and drivers are happy about it. We can stay green for the rest of the day. 
I mean, off the drivers who can try and bring these cars to, uh, when are we going next? I think we're going. I think we have just Dubai next. Dubai is next, if I remember correctly. Then Castle Gorge is in the championship. So, yeah. <laughs> it's been a bad day for William Duncan so far. He sits in 37th and he has not been able to get anywhere better than that for the most part. In the Sadie car, it's been... They fear that they think something may be wrong with the car because Duncan's car is really tight in the turns. And uh, as you can tell, but they've got the power and they're trying to make passes on the straightaways here as he's behind Eric Sofox in the 98 Toyota. And uh, Duncan's car is so tight, it's hard for him to make any passes right now. But he's starting to pick him off a little bit. And he's catching his little brother, Matt. 33rd. Oh, Alan Cavanero's got a problem in the 12th Dodge. That's fourth in the points right there. He's got a problem with his car. This is not pit stop time. We're not even close to it. And Alan Cavanero's got a problem. They're gonna put stuff, they're gonna put tires and fuel into the car. But that's gonna ruin Av Alan Cavanero's day. And that's a shame. And uh, that 12 car was falling back ever since the start. He was in like, he was really falling back. He fell all the way down to like 33rd at one point. And that uh, has not been for the most part, a good day for Alan Cavanero, and that's gonna seal the deal. But Eric Byrne has caught the leader, Noah Hart. Noah Hart's led more than half the laps today, and Byrne really wants to take the lead. Well, after round another another round of pit stops, Noah Hart is still the leader. Right as Eric Byrne is about to pass him, pit stops started, and uh, Noah Hart's pit crew is what's been carrying that team because Eric Byrne is much faster than that 47 right now. Seems like Noah Hart's strategy is to hold people off until pit stops. As they look to the field. Deanna Shelton's been working her way through the field along with Vincent Allen, the 87. These two are in desperate need of a great run tonight. Oh, well, today. Shelton sits 31st in the points. I think Vincent Allen sits in like 37th in the points. So this is a big deal for the 87 team and the 9A and the 9A car. Ross had a bad pit stop. He was in the top 10. Now he's in 19. And it's just been a very clean race. William Duncan starting to work his way forward a little bit now. CM Power thirds number 81 has been taken over the wall. They are done for the night. Well, they are done for the day. And that is going to put a huge stomp onto Steam Power thirds championship hopes. And that may have just knocked him out of the title. But here comes the Cavalry. Look at Jackson. He's got a huge run. The 47. Look at that 54 car go. What a run he's getting on the inside. He over trying to overtake the 47. And the overtake will be, well, he mostly for the most part overtook, overtook him on the turn. And Hart gets shuffled to second. Here comes Eric Byrne, Daniel Day to help. And Noah Hart will lose the lead finally. But uh, Jackson now is the leader. Been a winless hits for Charles Jack. Well, I think it's well, I may be retarded, but uh, Eric Byrne trying to run past the 47. As we are about to, well, we have pretty much hit the halfway point. 200 miles have been completed, and Charles Jackson puts his first car lap down. That's Gabe Williams, who is for the most part down a cylinder. Well, not really down a cylinder, but he has a problem. The pit stops have been slow. The 38 cars show no speed at all. They were in the top 20 at one point, then they just fell all the way back to the last, but, uh... Well, they're not really saying last, because Pollard, uh, parked it because of a problem. They took it behind the wall, but, uh, Gabe Williams in the 38. Well, to be honest, it seems like his car is suited for the straightaways. His car has been awful in the turns. Look, he's getting a run, Noah Hart here. But look how slow he is in the turns. It seems like that car would be a perfect car for Daytona or Talladega, but that's just not a car. It's just it's a really tight piece of equipment. And they've not been passing Vincent Allen got his best career DuPont Cup Series finish here in Indianapolis, and he's currently sitting in 15th right now. Vincent Allen, he's won this race. He won the American 700 here in what was the biggest upset in the history of Arkansas Racing. And uh, he's done a great job. 
here today, Indianapolis, keeping the car off the wall, keeping it in contention. There definitely was a lot of confidence from him for this week, especially for a driver who barely got in by one position. And he's trying to hold on for dear life against DJ Curtis and Jason Tross right now. But, uh, Demax has caught Eric Byrne as they're dealing with Byrne, who has just been painfully slow the last couple laps. He may have some kind of problem or something, but, uh, that 15 car is not as good as it was earlier. Well, they managed to get Cavanero as well. Cavanero is starting to work his way back up um, after that pit stop, after having that problem before pit stop. See, he's been slowly working his way up. He's gone past Nico Hall and uh, Sean Perkins, and he's currently in 35th. And he's trying to get away from Perkins' draft because he does not want that 28 to draft him, but Cavanero trying to work back towards the front. Doing the best he can right now with his abilities. And Nico Hall is definitely going to lose some ground to James Shelley in the rookie of the year if James Shelley continues to do as well as he is right now. Zach Rodgers in the 55. He had a problem. It looks like he may have a problem too. He's got his problem similar to Gabe Williams right now. And uh, that 55 car, unfortunately, this may knock him out of the title. Unless something, unless some miracle happens, because Charles Jackson's gone right now. He's just flying, flying by. It has not been the day Zach Rogers was hoping for. And Cavanero is in the pits again. More problems for Cavanero. Every time he starts making up ground, he gets another problem. And Cavanero, that 12 car has been breaking down this entire race. At this point, they might as well just put it behind the wall, but they seem like they're just hoping for the best. Michael Block is flying right now. He's got the fastest car on track right now in the 29. He didn't have, he had a bad pit stop, but it seems like he's making up for it. And he just flew by Eric Byrne, and he is catching these guys in front of him. It's a three car battle for, I think, fourth, maybe? No, third, to be more specific. But Michael Block is flying. Eric Byrne using that 29 to help him out. And look at Block on the outside, makes the pass, but Noah Hart is pitting, and pit stops have begun, it looks like. I think. Looks like, I guess Noah Hart's just going to kick him off first. As we are coming to 50 laps to go. Oh, that dropped. But, uh, as we're coming to 50 laps to go, we are approaching the, uh, 75% of the way through. Charles Jackson is still dominating so far. He's caught his teammate, Zachary Fitzwater, and he's drafting off of him right now. But it's a big gap between him and Sanford, who currently sits in second. As Charles Sanford's trying to win this himself. Hart's still up there. Lamas is up there as well. Uh, Block's up there. Demax, Burton. Gabe Williams being put further back. Dylan Young trying to get by. He does get by. Galligan approaching. And he's got Vincent Allen with him. Vincent Allen's starting to work his way towards the front as well. Richard Johnson lost a lot of positions on that pit stop, and he's trying to make up some ground himself. But with the race getting smaller and smaller, it's getting a lot more intense, and drivers are starting to make their way towards the front because they know they got to try and win this. William Duncan, 23rd. He's really making, he's starting to make up some places. They fixed the problem in their car, and they are trying to work that car around and get it to a top 20 finish. And uh, William Duncan's day, he's, it's been bad, but he's doing the best he can to make up for it. And you got to give him credit for that, especially for a guy that flipped at Nashville last week. This is a team that's very determined to not give up in the title. But they sit 17. They're pretty much done for, for the most part. As he looks at the field... It has not been a good day for Nick Smith either. It hasn't been a good season for Nick Smith. And he's sitting 29th in the points. And that's a shame for uh, last year's Rookie of the Year. And Nico Hall says he's been horrible. And uh, Jackson still has not put Fitzwater lap down. He's really hesitant to. Jackson wants to win this, but he doesn't want to put his teammate a lap down for the sake of the team. But it's allowing Sanford to start to close in a little. Sanford's coming now, but... Uh, 
Yeah, man, we were getting closer and closer to the end, but we still got a big snake pack right here. I think they're really trying to catch the leaders right now. And yeah, Shelton's working her way towards the front. Chris Washer with them, Nick Mace with them. We got a lot of drivers who went to the back, like like Washer. They're starting to work their way towards the front and go for the win. They're just hoping for a caution right now because uh, this race has been completely caution free, which has been shocking. Vincent Allen to the inside of Gabe Williams. They're trying to continue to work their way forward. Vincent Allen in the top 10, looking for a fantastic fish as he's flying. This is the battle for fifth between Demax and Block. These two have been at, at these two have been battling each other for the entire race. But Sanford trying to close in on the 30 on the uh, 54. 40 laps to go. We've been driving for almost two hours. And Noah Hart trying to get the 48. Cody Lamas needs these points. The special points for this race is 50 to 45 to 43 to 42, 41, and then 40, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. I'm trying to think. No, it wasn't 42. It was 41, then the 40. But uh, either way, it's a big point today for Cody Lamas. I know how hard they can get this finish. But where is. But you can tell Sean Galligan. Who's in currently in 16th? He's trying to get up there, but every time he comes closer, something kind of sending him back a little bit. And uh, Galga knows he can he, he cannot let Noah Hart get this win, or at least get any near close to the title. Here comes Charles Sanford to the inside of Charles Jackson for the lead. This is for the first lead change in a while. And the 24 goes on by. Oh, man. Jackson loses the lead to Charles Sanford. This is big for the 24 as he's been running these guys down. They're catching Nico Hall and Fitzwater. That's two lap cars right there. Sanford's got to be careful in traffic. Trying to get by Nico Hall, but he's being very cautious, especially since we're coming to pit stops here. Sanford trying to side draft with the four, needing to get away from the 54 if he wants to win this. Jackson challenges for the lead right back with Sanford. It's a one-on-one -on -one fight for the win. Well, well, sort of for the win right now, it's for the lead. And uh, Jackson retakes the lead for now, but Sanford on the outside. Nico Hall looks like he's going to help the 54. I'm surprised. you think Nico Hall would help the Chevy driver, but uh, both these two, Charles Sanford and Charles Jackson, Sanford 14th in the points, Jackson 18th in the points. They need this. They really, really need this. They need this right now, and Sanford trying to win this. And he gets by the 54. Oh man. Charles Samper had a bad pit stop and that's gonna allow Noah Hart to catch him. Noah Hart in second place right now. Fitzwater, we don't know Fitzwater, Fitzwater, what the heck was that? Charles Samper, the leader's in the wall. And Noah Hart takes the lead. Oh, Charles Samper put in the wall by Fitzwater. Oh man, that's gonna be some drama. Charles Sanford, who worked his ass to get up to the front, and a bad pit stop and a Fitzwater on the wall ruined it. Talk about drama, and now it's a battle for the lead again. Cody Lamas has now taken the lead against Noah Hart, and Michael Block heads to second. Wow, Charles Sanford in the wall. That's going to be the end of his title hopes. A very Australian end. <laughs> but Cody Lamas now to the lead. If he wins this race, it'll definitely put him back in the title. And uh, I'm surprised the caution wasn't thrown out for that 24 car. 
Usually they throw it out, but uh, I guess not today. Here comes Michael Block now looking for the lead against Cody Lamas here. Here comes the 29 and Michael Block looking to take the lead. Lamas trying to defend, but Block takes the lead. Block is currently fifth in the points. Lamas is sixth in the points and Hart is second in the points. And here comes Noah Hart trying to retake the lead himself. But he's got to get by Lamas. He's got to get by Michael Block. They're approaching Eric Sorfox in the 98. And uh, William Duncan continuing to move forward. Caution is out for the first time today. It's a debris caution for the debris left off Sanford's car after the accident a couple laps earlier. And that will stack the field right back up and that was what a lot of drivers wanted to, wanted to see. Debris caution out. And Michael Block, he did not want to see that. But I can tell a lot of drivers really did. Michael Block, he's just for 15 laps, he's got to hold on to the lead. Matt Duncan has been thrown, has been put behind the wall. They had a problem in the car, and it was too bad to uh, put it back out on the track. But Michael Block now, going to have to give it his all. Here we go. For what should hopefully be the final restart of the day. And green flag back in the air. Michael Block with a huge jump. Oh, last season we had jumps. We got penalties. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. But Aniko Hall on the inside. Hall trying to help his teammate Michael Block. Look at Hall. Yeah, Hall's blocking for his teammate right now. Hall working with his teammate, trying to make sure no one gets to that 29 car. And look at that. Lamas can't get a run on him. Now he does. Lamas gets the run on the four. Trying to help Michael Block. Trying to help Michael Block win this race. Hall fighting on the outside. Trying to give as much pressure to the 48 as possible. Hard looking to try and get to the 48. But Block has exploded out. He's gone. Block is gone. He's moving out. And Hall is helping him do it. Now it's a scatter. Everybody fighting for positions. Vincent Allen working his way forward. It's now or never. You cannot waste. You can't lay back any longer. You have to go now. You've got no choice. Lamas has got 14 laps to catch him. Here comes Hart to the inside of Lamas for second. Where is Sean Galligan? Galligan sits in 32nd. I don't know what the heck happened to him. But that is going to kill Galligan right now in the points. That is not what he needs to see. Oh man, this is getting very hectic. A lot of activity going on around the top 10 area. Jacob Anthony has, has made his way into the top 10 for the first time today. He's trying to work his way forward. But Michael Block is gone. Hard in second. Lamas in third. Chris Washer. Give a round of applause to him. He's up to fourth now. Nick Mace in the top 10. Vincent Allen up to seventh. Anthony. Daly. Demax. Eric Byrne trying to rework his way towards the front. Ten laps to go. And it is very crazy right now. Everybody fighting for spots. Doing everything they can. NBR cars trying to work their way forward. William Duncan up to 16th. Everybody trying to get by the lap cars. They're not that slow, but they're not helping either. Mace working his way forward. Vincent Allen coming with him. Vincent Allen trying to work with other Mitsubishi cars to get up to the front. Vincent Allen's going for a top five at this point. And it is hectic right now. Do everything you can to win this. 
but Michael Block is gone. And this is the battle for second. This is the battle for 45 points. Here comes Wash to the inside of the 47. Five laps to go for Noah Hart. Five laps to go for Michael Block. Michael Block has got this in the bag at this point, unless Hart can somehow run him down. Cody Lums is starting to fall back a little bit. Jacob Anthony has moved himself into the top five. Anthony fighting his way towards the front. They need a caution right now. If we get a caution at the flag, if we get a caution, this race, this race is over. Chris Washer has done nothing all day trying to get a second place from Noah Hart. Washer is actually faster than Michael Block. But does he have enough time to catch that 29? It's doubtful. Very doubtful. Two laps to go for Michael Block. And he is en route to a DuPont 400 victory. Chris Washer is closing in, but I do not think he will have enough time to catch the 29. Block trying to hold on. If Washer had 10 more laps, he probably had another. He would probably have a shot. Anthony reeling in Noah Hart. Anthony's actually faster than Washer right now. Anthony's probably the fastest car on the track, but he's trying to close in on third. He wants a podium. Nick May is trying to hold on himself. It's a lot of activity over here. This is for the top 10. White flag in the air from Michael Block. And Michael Block who has been winless this season. Fifth in the points and what this will do, it will launch him back into the title maybe. Washer in second, trying as hard as he can to close. He inches closer and closer every lap, but it's not going to be enough unless Block blows up. Two more turns for Michael Block. Jacob Anthony going for the podium. Here we go. One last turn. And coming off of it, Michael Block. He took advantage of a messed up Charles Stanford. But Michael Block will win the DuPont 400 here in Indianapolis. And Block is the winner. Washer second. Jacob Anthony with the upset in third. Noah Hart will get many points for fourth. Nick Mace makes up the top five. Vincent Allen gets finally a top ten this season. DJ Curse will scrounge on yet another top ten. Dylan Young, he's going to lose some ground. In the championship for sure. Same for Lamas a little. William Duncan managed to scrounge a 16th. Man, what a day. Huh. Dishwasher gets a 23rd. This is going to knock a lot of people out of the title. Sean Galligan will finish 33rd after being in the uh, top 10 area the entire race. Heartbreak for the 44 team. And he's going to have to try and hold off Noah Hart for these next couple of weeks. Michael Block is your winner here today in Indianapolis. Hope you guys enjoyed this long, long race, and we will see you guys next time. Congratulations to Michael Block.